So welcome to the channel, welcome to this audio visual experience we have here and of course if you subscribe welcome back. Get lumpy there. As the title suggests, I have sold the Forester. And before I go any further on this car, I'll give you the numbers really quick. So ended up selling it for 3500 I um, was pretty happy with that, uh, which was 1800 profit. So yeah, nearly 50% profit on that one. So I was I sold the car, I was looking for the next project and um, with the Passat pretty much where I want it to be, doesn't really need much work on it, which is good actually. And I thought, oh, I don't really want another street car as a project, I'd rather sort of diversify a bit. Um, keep on the 4x4 trajectory that the Forester gave us a little taste of. So I've gone for the Vitara. Uh, so we're on project number three. If you've been with us from the start, you'll know, uh, kicked everything off with the Pulsar. 800 bucks turned into about 2,700 with some spending, obviously. And then Forrester was 1,000 into 3,500. Total of about 2,500 profit and uh, about 6,000 back in the bank. Or at least there was until I bought this. back from the mechanic. There's a couple things that are gonna get in the way of it passing rego. Let me run you through them. Right side, side marker indicator isn't working. Pull it apart, had a quick look. Very obvious problem, the wire is disconnected, so I've ordered some new ones. The horn on the car isn't working. The indicators don't self-cancel because of the aftermarket steering wheel. We have a leak from the power steering box as well as the rocket cover gasket. The rear springs aren't really seated properly. Not 100% sure how or why. Um, but it needs a look and uh, I'm gonna lift the car eventually so I might work that into that. Tires are protruding from the sidewalls about a centimeter if that, probably even less to be honest. Um, I'll figure something out just to widen those arches a tiny bit, they need to be covered fully. The key can be pulled out of the ignition when the car is on, not good. Um, like regardless of that being a regular fail or not, I want to fix that. We've got something on the way for that to get that sorted. Um, there's no warning light when you pull the handbrake up. The little P indicator on the dashboard doesn't work. Um, I don't even know if the car has one, but I need to look into that. And there's a missing bolt on the front diff where it connects to the subframe. That'll be an easy fix, but definitely worth doing. So there's a bit to do. Most of it's very cheap. Some of it will be free. It's just adjusting and like reinstalling stuff I already have. I'm gonna make a start today and do some of the essentials. Um, I'm working on a few other things on the car at the same time that I'll put into separate videos. Um, but for now, let's get some of the basic stuff done. That's gotta go. Now I will have to get on top of the leak with the power steering system eventually, but I wanted to start by just topping the fluid up. See if that made the pump quieten down. okay but very very low it's on minimum so let's top that up let's try this again yeah, that's quite it that's perfect the seals will need work but it's working for now so that's all that really matters as I mentioned, I've got a solution for the key barrel on the way, but in the meantime, I couldn't resist the opportunity to pay homage to Richard Hammond's Vitara from Top Gear. <laughs> Officer Barbie has arrived! 
<laughs> that was to make it look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looked good in slow motion. So while it's not important for a rego, I did want to just liven up the front end a little bit and fix those headlights around. So I painted them gloss black. It actually looks a lot better. The other thing I did with paint was just paint the bonnet stay. It was right next to a radiator hose that looked exactly the same and I didn't want to grab that by mistake. So after figuring out what yellow I wanted, I painted it yellow. I painted the grill in a combo of gloss black and bed liner and 3D printed some clips to keep the headlight surrounds on. Yeah mate. That's what those two 3D printed clips. You can just see in there. They actually worked. Sick. Job done. <laughs> I found that the metal edges of the bumper were rubbing against the wheels on sharp corners and they stuck out way farther than the plastic bumper anyway so I decided to just cut them off. It's always something in there. For whatever reason, you're allowed to drive around without your back seats and seat belts, but they need to be in for rego, so I took the storage tray out to get ready for that. It's definitely going straight back in though. Right, um, that will do for today, I think. This car was drivable last week, and I basically have no interior now. I've started working on a few other things, like the back bumper and stuff you may have noticed. As I said, I have several videos um, midway through editing right now, so it'll be pretty consistent uploading, and we'll just get some momentum with this project. We're about halfway there to being back on the road now. Just gonna sort all this out. Thanks for watching, subscribe, cheers.